Here's how you and your team can get the most out of the nonfiction books that you're reading. First, some background. I coach my son's middle school basketball team, and each week a dad comes to practice and reads the same book. And it's The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which is obviously a big read and probably requires revisiting it multiple times to know what's happening. And there's a way that you can help supplement your learning when you're doing any kind of nonfiction reading. And the tool that I'm showing you today is called Grok from X, formerly Twitter, which recently went into version three, and it is free for anyone who would like to use it. Now, in this case, what I'd like to do first is go into Grok and say, please build a mind map of the book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So Grok knows what the book is and it's going to lay out, lay out a mind map for me so see this is a it's calling it a contextual representation so really it's just a, a book summary which is good and helpful but we can go a step further when it comes to making sure that we actually apply what we learn from the book so we have all of this first and with my familiarity with the book or maybe with yours you can read through and go is this consistent with what i know the book to be and yeah it definitely is it's a good representation of it so here I can say, please uh, export this mind map to what we call to markdown format. Now markdown format will give a piece of code that you'll see it's, it's highlighted and formatted in a certain way. So other programs can easily read the uh, code. So once it's done, we can take this and then copy it and then go into a simple tool here called markmap. So you'll see it says markmap.js.org slash RPLE and or sorry, R-E-P-L. And it's got a bunch of code here. Now all I really have to do is do a on my Mac, do a command A, and then paste in this new code. And in real time, it's going to update this for me. So instead of just having the book itself or my notes or a summary of it, I actually have a mind map of this here and I can scale this to fit the entire window. And what I can then do is take a screenshot of this and then save this and use it as a visual representation. Now what's really neat about this as well is I can update this in real time, this, this mind map to better represent maybe my understandings of it. So here's the core idea that the computer built, but I could also do something like add my notes here. So here, let's say I, um, I zoom in and I look at the fact that this uh, character ethics over personality ethics. Maybe I want to add some notes here. I can go here and say, apply this concept at our next team meeting. And now it actually updates that in real time for me. So I have the original screenshot, but I can have my custom screenshot as well of any notes that I think might be especially applicable to what I'm doing or that which with I'm doing with my team. So have you tried AI tools when it comes to establishing extra resources to help you get the most out of nonfiction books? Please let me know in your comments and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.